Sometimes you might see me in front of the whiteboard, I may shift it a little bit so we can draw along together and make some great art. And sometimes I might be at my computer with the screen up and on so I can see you and I can see your art and we can talk about art and I can show you all kinds of amazing things this school year. I'm so excited that you're here. And you know who else is here? If you've been in my art room before, you know I have a lot of things out and about. And one thing I have out and about a lot is Digit. You see Digit? Oh, she's right down here hanging out today. So she's looking up a little bit at me. I know you might not be able to see everything all at once right now, but as time goes on, there's more in the art room, and I'll show you some more things. And I'm going to show you something that I put together with things I had around between my house and digging around the art room. And I kind of want you to do this at your house too. I want you to look around for some art supplies. Because I have come up with and developed some art lessons here that we're going to be able to make some wonderful art with not a lot of supplies. Okay? So I'm grabbing this. It's a shoe box, but inside my shoe box, I have a lot of different things. I have some copy paper, just things that you usually use for your computer. If you have some of that, awesome. If you have a sketchbook or thicker paper or bigger paper or smaller paper, we can work with it. It's no problem. I've got some basic things in here. Got some pencils. Some of them are new, some of them are old. Some of them, the eraser's gone. So I do have an extra eraser in here as well. Something I had around. I've got some scissors. I have some colored pencils. Again, some are big, some are little. And you know what, guys? I had some toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls even. And you cut them down. I hot glued them inside my box. So now they're just going to stay put, which I like. I also have some boxes that already had you know, their markers in them. If you have markers, great. If you don't, it's okay right now. It's fine. I had broad markers and skinny markers. I have some good old classic crayons, a little box of crayons here. Um, I had some glue. Look around, see if you've got some glue, even if it's kind of used up. Glue sticks are great. I have a lot of glue in here. So I use a lot of this Elmer's glue. And lastly, I do have some watercolor paints. These you can find at Target or Walmart, anywhere they've got some basic supplies. It's pretty inexpensive. Um, this one has 16 colors in it. Maybe it just has a classic eight, like one row of paints. If you have that around, it'd be wonderful. If you don't, you don't. One last thing I had in here was just a recycled container that I can use for some water, for my watercolor paints, which my paints came with a brush, which is nice. So those are some basic supplies we can use and we can make some great art. So I want you to look around and set yourself up with a box, whether it's a box maybe you already have or maybe there's a box instead of recycling it, you can use it for your own go-to box that you can have ready for art. So whenever I get to see you, you have your box ready and you can hear all about the lesson and the project we're gonna do. And you have all your materials right there for you, ready to go. Ooh, one last thing I didn't mention besides my scissors. I had two types because I had one with a point and one that's a little more of what you call blunt, not as sharp. I have Sharpie markers. If you've been in my class at all, you know I love Sharpie markers. They make things work out so nice. I just like the look of them. If you don't have them, you don't have them. But they're pretty common to find. I had a broad one. I had a skinny one. Ooh, it's flying. Supplies are flying. 
So go ahead, look around, see what you've got, because I'm telling you, this year, just those supplies, you can make some amazing art. You're gonna build your skills in here as an artist. We're gonna make some connections, even though we're online, with drawing and coloring and using some really cool artworks that bring all these ideas together. So I'm really excited for you to be here with me in art, and I'm really looking forward to getting to know you and also for you guys to get to know you.